Hello and welcome back to the Waldwick Summer Show. I'm Brennan Post, your host. Hope you're doing well. Been a long time. Lily kind of stole the show last time, but we came to a compromise. She's going to do the outro. I'm going to do the intro. We're going to flip flop. Again, hope you're doing well tonight. We got a great show for you tonight. This past Wednesday, the class of 2020 graduated again. They Oops. graduated again. Second time's the charm in this case. Um, hopefully you got to see that. If not, check it out. It was awesome. And we got an interview with the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Jill Reynolds. It was awesome. That's later in this episode, along with some superlatives that didn't make the cut. So st stay around for that and uh, it'll, it'll be fun. Enjoy. Valedictorian, thanks for coming. Good thanks stuff. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Yeah. Everyone wants to know, you know, Jill, how'd you get so smart? Well, my mom likes to take credit. Uh, she says that I got my smarts from her. So, I mean, I'll give her credit there. But, you know, it's also about just working hard and stuff. You know, staying on top of your work. That contributes a lot to it. I see. All right. Got to write that down. Um, <laughs> as a new alumni, alum, what are you going to miss most about WHS? Hashtag on it. I'm definitely going to miss the people the most, you know, especially you, Lily. You know, seeing your face every day in the hallway. You yeah. be post. Um, we're going to miss the track team. Mr. Wiseman, of course. Dr. Ling, going to miss him a lot. You know, great yeah. teacher. Uh, but, you know, just seeing everyone in the hallways every day, I'm really going to miss that. Just great community, you know. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. And now, what is your fondest memory at Waldock High School? I'd say my fondest memory is uh, last spring season for track. We were we had told ourselves that we wanted to win three titles: uh, the Bergen County Relays, the County Individuals, and the League title. And you know, I was put into a lot of races that I didn't want to be put in, but I took one for the team and. We ended up winning all three titles, so that's probably the best memory that I've had. Nice. Good work. Thank you. Thank you. It was all worth it. You know, take one yeah. for the team. Um, and now what was your toughest bit at Walnut High School? I'd say the toughest part uh, was AP Physics with Dr. Ling, but, you know, stuck through it, kept up with my work, and I ended up doing well in the class and I learned a lot so you know it was all worth it it all worked out yeah it did <laughs> nice now what are you most hyped for about college um I'd say I'm most hyped for uh you know starting the next chapter of my life and I'm going to Villanova and I've wanted to go there for like the past five years ever since my sister went there so just you know finally being able to go and see what it's like in the real world on my own. Nice, yeah, definitely ready for it. All room for you. <laughs> oh, thank you, yeah. thank you. Um, now, you kind of mentioned it before, but you're quite the track stud, you know? Thank you. How many races have you won, and what are some of the trophies or medals that you got? But if you uh, look up here, oh, oh, that's my what? medal rack. <laughs> I've got about like 60 or 70 over there, but, um. I don't know how many I've won. I haven't kept track of that, but I've placed top six in about like 60 or 70 of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hate I mean, and that's not including like the dual meets, but those are kind of low key. So like, yeah. basically you won a lot. <laughs> Pretty much, I guess. It's so over the past yeah. four years. So I've had a lot of time to do that. Right. Um, and now what has been keeping you busy lately? You know, we, we've been kind of cooped up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I've been, like, trying to see my friends and, you know, be social and stuff, but also preparing for college. You know, I, I leave early now. I leave August 12th, so just getting all my stuff for my dorm and making sure that I've submitted everything that I need to. That's been keeping me pretty busy, and I've been going to the beach a lot, so that's good, too. That's nice. A little fun in the sun there. <laughs> of course. Um, and how is your doggo doing? You know? Jake, Jake is doing great. He's actually outside right now in the driveway, basking in the sun. Nice. He loves to sunbathe, just like I do. He takes after me. But, um, yeah, he's doing great. Right. 
Now, I think Brendan wrote this one, but who is the coolest doggo in Waldwick High School? Well, now that Jake's gone out of right. Waldwick High School, I'd have to say I'd have to give this one to Jesse. We post you can you can right. win that one. Jesse's a great Jesse's a great gal. Nice, good answer. Good answer. <laughs> um, now, uh, thirty seconds, right? Any fun facts, cool tidbits about you? Something that we might not know. Right for it. Yeah, I like to go to Lavalette a lot. And I have my own surfboard, and I've been surfing a lot. Uh, I'm also learning how to play the ukulele, so that's that's something cool. That's that is pretty cool. Thank you. All right. Um. Thank you for coming. Well, thank you for Got having to know me. a lot about you. Fun <clears throat> fun time. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to the Dewicki Awards tonight. I'm your host, Brendan Post, with the most. Uh, we got some Waldwick alumni, the class of 2020, and tonight we're going to rattle off the superlatives that didn't make the cut. We got some good ones in here, so let's roll right into it. First off, the smartest in the building. Our nominees are for this one, Jill Reynolds, Peter Kavner, and Joe Safiati. And the winner is... J Peter Kavner. Peter can make it tonight, but uh, he can make it tonight. Okay, uh, second, second off, uh, most likely to get rabies in college. Harry Grant is our nominee, one of our nominees. Mac Guerra or Frank Avalo. And the winner is Harry Grant. Hey, that's me. Let's go. Wow. All my years of hard work. I am so humbled by this. As you can see, I am I got my uh, tux out, thought I'd get some use out of it. Uh, kind of wasted my money on that since there was no prom, but uh, looking good. Base Nick, don't put, the, don't put the camera down there. I, uh, I did lose the pants. So we're just going with the top up. Hopefully Nick's editing can uh, do the job. All right, this is an interesting one because I don't really approve of this one. Most likely to win a Hunger Games match, don't really, think anybody in the class of 2020 is fit for that. So the runner-ups are, or not the runner-ups, because the nominees are Michael Carver, Joe Porfido, and uh, Brendan Post. No, you can't, you can't nominate yourself. And the, and the winner is Brendan Post. No, you can't, you can't give it to yourself. Okay, and the winner is Joe Porfido. No, he, he doesn't even go here. He, he went to our middle school. Okay, um, Michael Carver, if you want it that way. I don't think he'd, I could beat him. But anyways, most likely to make it into the NFL, the National Football League. Ben Sherlow, Varun Kumar, that's my pick, or Billy Powell. So those are our nominees. Billy Powell is our winner. Wow, how cool, who would have thought? Great, great one right there. And now most likely, this is an interesting one, most likely to come back to Waldwick High School and see Boz's office so often that Boz himself has to place a restraining order on this person. Our nominees are Skylar Acker, Boz himself, or Kelly Griffin. And the winner is Kelly Griffin. Great job. This next one is most likely to get smile wrinkles at the age of 20. This is a tough one. It goes between Emer Brophy, Nathaniel Safar, and Seb, aka Ferb Gonzalez. Gonzalez. All right, and the winner is Emer Brophy. Would you look at that? Nice job, Emer. Congrats, congrats. Now, most likely, this is one of my favorites, and it was a landslide for this one. Most likely to drench their pants on the first day of college. Luke Manziano, Zach Rosen, or the infamous Jacob Post. The winner is Jacob Post. Great job, Jacob. We'll see you next year. All right, most likely to out Pizza the Hut. This, this is a 
this last but not least, Joe Brunner. He can eat. He can eat. I don't know if he can have pizza the hut, but he can eat. Hermes Lazo or CJ Bingo. Now this one's easy. Hermes Lazo. Congrats. We had a lot of fun tonight. Hope you'll come back to the next with the awards. Uh, I had fun. Good night, everybody. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, here are all the people that helped out. I don't know which way it was, but they helped. Uh, we don't got much going on. So uh, if you can, please help out. You can reach on Twitter and- Please help. No, get out. You can reach out on Twitter and Instagram because we have both. So please contact us because we're running low on steam. Thanks.